body. Um, in this video, it will be different. It will be different because I want to ask other influencers for help. Now, I know you probably won't listen to me because I'm not a big influencer and because I have special needs and everything like that. But can y'all just hear me out? So people like me with special needs on TikTok will get in hate so much. So much hate and like we get in so much hate to the point where they made a trend, a whole trend, making fun of people with special needs, people with autism, people with cerebral palsy, people with special needs. They are making fun on TikTok. Little kid made fun of on TikTok, and TikTok don't kill. TikTok, TikTok don't kill whatsoever. So back in 2020, when the pandemic was happening, this trend was on TikTok. This particular trend was on TikTok, and it's highly offensive to people with disabilities, special needs. I hate using the word disabilities. I like using the word special needs because, like, using the word disabilities, you got to get to, you got to get, Oh, you got to say, oh my God. I feel like I broke my eye out. Wow. You got to say this before you get to ability. And in my head, in my head, this means you can't do nothing, you can't do this, you can't do that, you're hopeless. Now, I really don't know what this actually means, but in my head, this means you can't do this, you can't do that, and I don't like that. Yeah, in my head, this means you can't do, th I can't do this, I can't do that, and there's a lot of things I can do. And there's a lot of things that other people with special needs can do. So, anyway, the trend started in 2020. And in 2020, the trend started and... The trend went on for months and until people with special needs band together to tell TikTok, basically to make TikTok take it down. Now, after a while, TikTok finally took it down. Four years later, now in 2024, it's back. So, I know TikTok don't kill about people with disabilities. People, TikTok allows racism on the app. TikTok allows ableism. People being ableist on the app. So, I get that. I understand it. And everything like that. But um, can y'all help by making by just showing awareness 
to stop bullying people with special needs. Because y'all can look all over on TikTok. It's so the trend for the people that don't know, the trend is like real people when they say hands in the air break your wrist and then you do that this pain. Sorry, brother. And then you do this and then you make noises. That's highly offensive. Do people with civil palsy and do other people with special needs. I had mild civil palsy when I was younger. And that's offensive. And many people saying, oh, I'm lying about having mild civil palsy. I'm not. I don't lie like most of your people lie about having Tourette syndrome, having autism, or having DID. Most people right now on TikTok is lying like they have DID. Dissociative something, and something disorder. Most people that faking having DID, it's getting called out. Like the eighteen, that dude on the eighteen. Well, no, his name called the eighteen. He got called out, and he don't act like he has DID no more. It's this chick go by faith them on um TikTok that acted like they had DID, people found out that that was a lie. People fake like they have autism for clout. People fake like they have direct syndrome for clout. So, anyway, I'm just saying y'all get exposed. Look all over YouTube. Stop, just stop in TikTokers, fakers. And it come up, all these people, all these TikTokers are faking like they have been disorder. Now, few days ago, few days ago on TikTok, it was this middle-aged guy. He looked like he was in his 40s. Or, well... Middle, middle forties to late forties. He say if it was up to him, everybody with disabilities will get up off the face of the earth. And I showed that video to my mom, and my mom had to like cheer me up, try to cheer me up all day that day because I was just down and everything like that because that's not the first person that I heard saying something like that. Like I remember back in 2007, I saw an interview with this random person while just going, walking around, asking people their opinions on people with special needs. And most of them was nice. Most of them said they were just like us. They were just like you, me, whatever. But this one a-hole said, if it was me, I would murder all of them. And then someone came into my comments few, like a year ago, someone came into my comments and say, they say, oh, I support people with special needs, but I can't stand 
how y'all use the government. Get a job. Now, I didn't know. I didn't know how old she was. I guess her out. Oh, my goodness. I, I didn't know how old she was. She was 13. Wow. I guess I, I didn't know how old she was. But anyway, she just randomly came to my comment section, and she legit said that. Wow. Wow. But um, anyway, I'm just saying, I know some people won't kill about what I have to say in this video. I know some people just don't kill. But I'm asking, I'm really asking, because it is bad to the point where I'm getting death threats. It's bad to the point where I'm getting death threats and other people with special needs getting death threats, getting just regular threats. Like now, um, I'm getting threats on death threats and normal threats on my videos for what? No reason. Because I'm not responding to these people. Um, I just quit a few months ago with responding, replying back to these people. But these people say, drink please, drink wet porcelain, eat fentanyl. I don't understand. And it's not like I'm saying something, it's not like I'm saying something. It's not like I'm doing nothing, something bad. Now, I made a video a few years ago, and it's still on my page, TikTok page. I'm in a, I'm wearing a black blue shirt, black blue shirt with a collar on it, and I'm, and I have 83.4,000 views on that video and if y'all don't know me that's amazing because I only get like 100 to 200 views on a video so 90% of the comments are negativity making fun of me bullying me sending me death threats and, like, I don't understand. And my TikTok friend from the UK, she has two sons with autism, both with autism, but the oldest boy had higher needs than the younger boy. Now, um... He stems in videos. And anyway, one comment say, take him, put him in the trash. For no reason. Legit for no reason. So anyway, I'm just saying, people with special needs go through a lot. These the things that we go through. In 2016, when the ALS Ice Pocket Challenge was a big thing, this teenager with autism wanted to join in to the fun with his friends. So instead of his friends pulling 
a bucket of water on him. His friends pulled pee, poop, and spit in a bucket and threw it on him. Now, the same year, these group of teenagers kidnapped an artistic boy and beat him up in a abandoned house and filmed it. And it was there for the whole week. They filmed it while they was beating him up. I can't say the war, but the D war. They was D warding him for the whole week. Few months ago, it was this case of this boy with autism that got beat up at the bus stop for no reason, just because he was autistic. And how I know that it was because he was autistic is because the police asked the boys, why did you do this crime? And the boys say because he was autistic and we thought that we was going to get away with it. Now, an abuse happened on my bus that I never talk about. I don't talk about my years in school because it was like dramatic. But I went to school with other kids, let's see, dogs with autism, really, special needs. And I rode this bus with my buddy. She was my best buddy. She had severe nonverbal autism. So she was getting abused on the school bus. And I spoke up. I'm going to make another video about what happened, but I spoke up, and the bus driver got fired, and yeah, but um, anyway, if y'all, if y'all want to, please help, meaning please talk about, please just talk about it. I, I really want people to stop bullying, picking on people with special needs. And if y'all don't believe me, go to TikTok. It's all over TikTok. Those videos are it's all over TikTok and everything like that and no one is kind of reporting those videos no one seems to kill so anyway i hope you all like the video like comment subscribe